SEO Zero Teacher Zero representing JVS. I'm back here again for another review for Black Lightning. This seems something really special though at the end of this review. So make sure you stay tuned. Don't just cut out like you normally do. Um, this is a really good episode. Uh, one, showcasing what Jennifer is capable of. The fact that one, she is a walking nuclear bomb, uh, which gives a limitation there. But at the same exact time, like her natural gifted ability on top of her rage really directly compares her to her father more so than Anissa. Anissa is going through her own trials and tribulations because, I mean, one, she got shot at. Two, you know, she's moonlighting as a vigilante, stealing from the rich, so to speak, and giving to the poor, but not really. And then the other side of that is her girl, Grace, that just went up and left. But the thing about Grace is she got an interesting backstory that I think is more comic book centric. I don't know anything about the character personally, but... There's a lot of mystery and intrigue there, which I was like, okay, this is the art that I'm actually excited about because they, you know, kind of started that with the comic book store in the first season. And at the same time, she showed her, like, comic books of uh, Black Lightning and Thunder, which I thought was really interesting how they actually did that. Um, but this episode did cement that, yo, Tobias is just not loyal to anyone. How could Cutter even indulge in even a relationship with this man because i mean given what he did to old boy it was a genius which i mean i thought that that was kind of undermined it because i don't know like did something happen like contractually that he had to kind of dip set because i felt the same thing about lala like lala dead is it because the actor is working on something else like he just got killed uh, is this guy actually dead because i mean person i love this guy I, I love the character i feel like there's so much they can do with him as an actor from a range standpoint as well as like a character standpoint like you're just gonna use him just for this one moment to just end them right here i thought that was just really dumb he didn't even show like him actually dying so that's why i was like well i don't know maybe it was a contractual thing they couldn't bring him back or i don't know some dissension going on between the production oh yeah my son's right here and um then everything that the family in and of itself is going through with lynn coming at jeff i was like this is a whole lot um, but it was a really good episode which cemented some certain things that ingrained in Jennifer's mind and heart moving forward. Not just as a hero, but as a, a person. And even with the funeral, that was really rough because it's like Jeff did some selfless things, which which Lynn had kind of alluded to, like her him distinguishing him being a good man and a great man. I think that this was definitely cemented in stone a great man moment. And not just that, like I think he let either one the principal get in his head. Uh, or two, like, it was just kind of just like, this is how he really feels about, like, he's not really 100% there because he's going fighting crime. Now, his, his his motivations are there, but it's like, I don't know if this principle meets that same that standard either. So, it's going to be interesting to see where they're going with this, um, or where they're going to pull it. But I thought it was a really great episode, and I got a surprise for you guys at the end of this review. So, make sure you like, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button, but just hold on. Some interesting. You should, you should probably be able to tell what it is after the title. Peace, guys. Hey, what's going on with the YouTube? It's SEL0320. I was doing JVS. Just got done looking at episode 13. I really didn't just get done looking at it. It was a earlier today. But if you want to go and check out our full entire reaction to Black Lightning episode 13, it's right here. Like, this is literally being written right in front of you. Um, because uh, the 40 hour clear is already long past. I just want to let you guys. Instead of making like a whole separate video, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to add that and tag that to the full review video. And I think I'm going to do that more often than not, especially with Black Lightning, especially with The Flash. Instead of doing like a whole separate one, I'll leave it right there at the end so that way you can always go back, look at the review and make reference to it. And you can just go and just on one video, it'll have the 48 hour clear and it'll also have the full entire review. The only time it's going to be a situation where it's not is gonna be when something like True Detective or The Passage or uh, I don't know, Umbrella Corporation where the reaction is gonna be completely strictly on Patreon, but it'll be available to you guys as far as a review. So um, yeah, you go ahead and just click the link. It'll take you straight to our Patreon page. The link itself, it brings you straight to our Team JVS page, but you'll be able to see the full entire reaction with no questions asked, completely free. If you want to be a Patreon supporter, you can send the description bar below. It's only a dollar for the entire month to be able to go and do that. And if you just want to support us, let us know and join. A lot of exclusives for a dollar. Keep it locked. JVS, we're going to stop. Hopefully you enjoyed the review and reaction. Peace, guys.